Hi everyone, Les and Wendy. Say hi, hi Wendy. Hi Wendy. <laughs> and right now we are in the beautiful city of Fredericton, New Brunswick. This is New Brunswick's capital city and third largest city in the province. And we are looking at, I believe, the St. John River. And we're going to get onto the road here and do just a quick little drive through, ziggy zagging through the city. And see what we see. Now we are not all that familiar with Fredericton. We have been here a few times, but usually for something work related. So we haven't actually touristied around. <laughs> but we do know that the city is on the river. And a beautiful river it is. The, the one thing I remember about uh, Fredericton is that it hugs waterways everywhere and it's just gorgeous. It's uh, super, super pretty. The city is actually extends to both sides of the river. There is a bridge that crosses the river. Now this one that's coming up here is uh, a secondary bridge. I can't remember what it's called. Princess something or another. But regardless. Nice bridge that also has, a, I believe, a pedestrian crossing there, too. I'm not sure. Oh, we're even starting to see some of the nice little sailboats mooring. We are getting into season here. Yes. The trees are starting to be in bloom. Stop for a red light. Some of our viewers like it when we stop for red lights <laughs> and stop signs, so we'll do that. And we'll uh, just introduce the city a little bit. It is, uh, like I said, the capital city of New Brunswick. I think the city population itself is around 60,000, with the area population being around in the 80 to 90,000 range, which as opposed to St. John is about uh, 80,000 city and 120, 130,000 area. Don't quote me on that. And Moncton, which is kind of combined with Dieppe and is around 150,000 people. So the third largest city, but the capital city, uh, located north quite a ways from the Bay of Fundy. It is on the river only, and it's about an hour's drive from St. John, where it's just our hometown. So we are just going to do a we're kind of on the outskirts of the city right now. That's quite the bridge ahead, though. Yeah. I'm going to try to zoom in on that. They did uh, a lot of work on that bridge, I think, recently. It was shut for a while. This road is a little bumpy though. Yep. I think we are on Route 102 if anyone's following along. Heading into the city core. That's great. Yeah, so there's uh, there's a city on both sides of the river here. The main downtown core will be on our side of the river. We're not going to cross the river to do our drive around. It's mostly residential on the other side and we're not going to do any kind of in-depth look at the city like we do with St. John because we just don't have that kind of knowledge. But there is a beautiful trail off to our right that hugs this whole area and follows the water forever. I do remember that the last time we were here. There's some beautiful homes here on your right overlooking the river. So lots of outdoor stuff to do around here. Got trails, you've got beautiful uh, waterways everywhere. Yes, Fredericton's a city that's got everything uh, except the ocean. It's got lots of shopping, lots of restaurants, it's got the University oh, of New Brunswick, it's got the NBCC, which, if things go correctly, we may actually uh, take a look at. And it's got, of course, the government parliament buildings. Mm -hmm. And it has a pretty historic old downtown, which is, uh, like many of the downtowns in New Brunswick, is being revitalized and into a thriving area. Did you mention that Fredericton was the capital? About three times so oh. far, yeah. See, I just totally zone out after a while. He talks a lot when the camera's on. He never talks this much at all. Oh, what's that? That's a campus. That's uh... I think it's part of the UNB. Okay. 
Sorry, I didn't get a good pick of that. Do you want to drive around in there? Sure. Okay. I don't know if this is the main campus or not. Again, don't have that much knowledge. This is the University of New Brunswick. Fredericton campus. Look how pretty that is with those trees. Like uh, many universities, usually on a nice piece of ground. Yes. And NBCC, I think, is close by here too. But I'm not sure. So we are today is what May I think 17th, 2021. Beautiful spring day, 20 degrees Celsius. Not a cloud in the sky. Not a cloud, no. So very nice. Yes. Um, we're now. Let's get the heck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> if we can find our way out, we'll get back to uh, the city itself. Some beautiful buildings, though. Yeah, very nice. Bigger than I expected. Yeah. It to be. Huge. New Brunswick is not a very populated province. It's uh, less than a million people living in the entire province of New Brunswick. So this looks like uh, student housing. Yes. Here. I'm just, the reason I'm even going through and not turning around is because, look at that. Oh my God, look at that. Because if this is uh, where I think we are, then NBCC is around here too. It would be nice to find that because now we have some of our viewers that are going to be attending the Fredericton campus of NBCC. And some of you don't be a Mo Center, so that looks like it's where the athletics would happen. And this is definitely, I don't know, not student housing. Yeah. Well, we didn't know where we were going to end up showing, but uh, showing the university is not so bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Fredericton is often described as a very, very pretty city. There's NBCC yeah, right yeah, there. Look, look at that. We're going to go, there you go. go around the roundabout. Let's do the roundabout. Sometimes I actually have an idea of where I'm St. going. St. Thomas University is here too? Yeah, that's another place. So oh. it's all in the same area. Look at some of those buildings though. Like, oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. So I'm going to turn in here. Let's do it. NBCC. So this is the Fredericton campus. There we go. And we did a tour of the uh, St. John campus. I think it was bigger than this one. Yeah, I think it was. Although you don't know how big it is here just because there's so many buildings everywhere. And I wouldn't know what belongs to the university, to the college, to the other university. Exactly. But... Now, I think the reason you don't see many vehicles here is because most of the learning is online at the moment due to COVID. And uh, isn't uh, April the end of a regular semester anyway? You're right there. All right. All right, so let's get the heck out of here. Nice views, too. Yes. You know, we always get a lot of requests. We have a lot of international students that watch our videos, and you're always looking for other colleges and universities. So now you've seen both in one shot for Frederick. Mm -hmm. You've seen all three in one shot. All three. St. Thomas was the other one. Yes. Not sure if that's like a private university. I saw More it on a student map. housing there. But the grounds are ginormous. Better. So, you might not know where you are, you'll be in the same boat as us, but <laughs> by leaving there and following wherever we're going, we'll try to give you some perspective of uh, where the downtown is. If we recognize any of these streets, we will... Uh, so, we're on Montgomery Street, and this is... Regent. Regent. Regent Street. It means nothing to me. I think you should go down towards the water. Okay. Yeah. The, uh, one of my big memories of Fredericton is being here in the summer and being near the river. There was a lot of mosquitoes. Yes, that's right. We got out of the car and almost got eaten alive. And it was also much warmer 
Gun, St. John. St. John gets the breeze off the bay. Um, and St. Fredericton has the rivers, of course. Um, and there's lots of places to swim along the river as well if you wanted to cool off in the summer. We have talked about um, one of the big differences in the cities, the main cities of Moncton, St. John, and Fredericton is that Moncton and Fredericton get hotter summers than St. John and more snow in the winter. And that is because they are cities that don't have the Bay of Fundy to temper it, temperate the climate. So St. John is a little milder with less snow in the winter and not quite as hot in the summer. Fredericton is super cute though. I really, really like this little city. Um, it has lots of character homes and uh, you know, I really like the rivers being like by the water as well. Uh, it's very pretty in a lot of the areas. I do find Fredericton to be much prettier than Moncton as it's got more character. Moncton is kind of booming, so it's one of those places where they're just spreading out um, from a very small downtown core. Fredericton has more of a significant downtown. So you've got some shopping here. Sobeys uh, is a very popular grocery store. It's, if any of you from the west you know Safeway, it's the same company. I think we're heading slowly into the downtown area. Buildings are getting older, that's yes. usually a sign. That's a school alert. Oh no, it's apartments. It says school on the side. Is it, this is really pretty here. Look at these trees. These are old trees. Lots of people out and about enjoying the sunshine. Apologize for the bumpy road. Apologize if there's any wind noise. We do have our microphone, but we got our windows open because it's pretty warm. It's very bumpy. Very bumpy. Uh, the Parliament buildings are somewhere around here too, but I'm not sure where they are. Not sure if we'll end up seeing them. But here's like downtown. Look at all these tall buildings. Oh, looky, looky! It's a huge city here, and some old churches. Some ahead of us are uh, that tall building ahead and on the left is actually condominiums that are not cheap at all. <laughs> Big book. There is uh, the Nurses Association there too. For you nurses out there, I know that a lot of uh, nurses have contacted us. Fredericton is a bilingual city. To be sure, being a government city, it's kind of required, but because it's a little bit north in the province, not all the way north, but far north of St. John, uh, you get a much more of a French-speaking population. So this is kind of downtown Fredericton right here. Do a little bit of... A drive about? Yeah, zigging and zagging. Let's do some zigging and zagging. Try not to get lost. It's hard for us not to get lost. Especially when we don't know where we are in the first place. Is this even a... Uh, yep. Is that a one way? No. Okay. I don't know if I can find the name of the street, we'll let you know. It's the Crown Plaza Hotel on our left. That's pretty fancy. Isaac's Way. Overlooking the water. Yes, it's a playhouse, so a theater. Can't go straight, so we'll go right. Look at that nice patio restaurant. The Joyce. The Joyce. Very nice. Is that the parliament? No, that can't be. Is that the city hall? This is St. John Street Road. It's a beautiful building, whatever the hell it is. Let's add. Uh, turn left at these lights here so we can go past and see what it is. It might be the parlor. It's very pretty. Apartment. 
this uh, downtown core is very very walkable much like uh, St. John's downtown So we are at the intersection of King Street and St. John Street in downtown Fredericton. We had a request to add uh, Google Maps to our videos, but after some research, I uh, realized that it was part of editing and we don't edit our vid videos, so I don't think that's going to happen. You do try to provide street names so we you can do. follow along yourself. But... Oh, this is the back side of it, but we don't know exactly what it is. See these lines? No. Secretary Lane. Let's do it. He'll get us to the front of it. Or in the middle of it or something. There's a sheriff there. Yes. So that's, maybe it's the courthouse. No, it's too fancy to be a courthouse. Queen Street now. Lots the water of, straight ahead. Yes, the, the river is there. Look at those little, that little park there, the green space. There's a lot of road construction going on here and there. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. Let's see what the heck this is. Let's see. Can you read it? Nope. This is 1880. 1880. We don't know what it is. We want to know what it is, but we don't know what it is. All right. As I was saying, lots of road construction. We've noticed that every time we've been here, especially in the downtown core. New uh, new buildings. I don't remember seeing this Crown Plaza Hotel. I don't know if it's new or not, but it's right on the river. So come to Fredericton for a visit. Think about staying there. It's called the Lord Beaverbrook Hotel. And Hilton Garden Inn on the left. So that building that we just passed, it was Legislative Assembly. Parliament building. Parliament building. Sorry, the camera was crooked while I was looking it up on my phone. Inquiring minds need to know. So I think ahead of us is the... Uh, Westmoreland Bridge that goes to the north side of the city. So the river is just on our right here. And it's parkland in front. Oh, look at all these nice little... Uh, oh. Little restaurants and shops. A love shop for sexy couples. How did they know we were coming? Right, totally. Thanks for opening for us. <laughs> Lots of patios, very nice. Very cute. Pretty nice older buildings too. Yeah. Right Look at that. Sports Hall of Fame, New Brunswick Sports Hall of Fame. Oh, another interesting fact I read about Fredericton is it is the craft beer capital of Canada. You had me at craft beer. There are more breweries here than any other per capita than any other place in Canada. That's a reason to move here for sure. So this is a college here, New Brunswick College of Craft and Design. So right ahead here. So that's that stone building there. It's a college. Craft and Design. And lots of businesses on the left still. So we're driving through. Uh, lots of car. little pubs, nightclubs even. Pool halls. Look at those buildings though, oh my gosh. That's the courthouse on our right. That's the courthouse, has big justice sign. Yeah, like uh, this, what's City, City Hall. Hall is right there. Alrighty. It's pretty. Very nice downtown. Wow, hall. this is really pretty. I love it. Not as much as St. John, but I love it. <laughs> very nice. Again, the river is just on our right, so there's lots of ways to walk along the river. Walk along the, uh, the downtown streets. Very pedestrian friendly. And growing quite quickly. 
has been growing at a, a quick pace over the last few years. So that's why we're seeing so much road and building construction. We're going to double back a little ways up here, if we can. off the, uh, the main streets. So this is Northumberland Street. Doesn't seem to have any stop signs. So there are condos downtown, quite a few of them, but they're pricey. And there are probably a few homes that are still downtown. Fredericton, like everywhere else in New Brunswick, is a very affordable city to live. Lots of restaurants here too. There's St. Louis, Rustico. Rustico, wood-fired something. Big patio. Yeah. I love patios. Look at that. It's pretty full too. Mind you, it is lunchtime, so. Nice. Trees are starting to bloom, not quite there yet, but once they do, they provide beautiful shade and scenery. Now the main shopping areas would be to our right from here. It's sort of ringing the city along the south southern edge. So that would be where you'd get your, your shopping malls and strip malls. And that sort of thing. And we will shortly head down that way as we... This is a mall here. This is not... King's Place Shopping Center. Yeah, this is a downtown type mall, but the big malls, like the big spread out ones, are in the south. Still a mall. <laughs> it is indeed. It's nice to see all the people out and about. Oh, a poutinery. Ooh, only in Canada. Yes. So we will uh, accomplish, I think, more than we set out to so far. We, we did. We've shown the university, the college, the downtown core, a bit of the river, and we're going to just head outwards towards the... Uh, the southern edge of the city, which is where the highway system would connect to Moncton and St. John. So what street is this? Carlton, never heard of it. Are there streets here that you have heard of? Yeah, okay. one or two. Oh, there's Regent, which we came up, so let's go We've back heard of down. that. <laughs> let's go back down that way. Yeah, let's go away, we've already seen. Would you rather go to the next one? Yeah, let's go to the next one. Okay. Well, we're, we're going to miss all of the main shopping areas then. No, no, we're not. Fine, if you want to take this way. No, That's I'm fine. good. I always listen. He doesn't always listen. He's only just saying that. Anyway, <laughs> we, uh, we don't have a lot of things to add because we don't really know that much about Fredericton, but... We happened to be out here to do something, so we thought we'd share it with our viewers. Thank you for watching again, and also please think about subscribing to our channel if you want these very high-class videos that we continue <laughs> to bring to you. Not to mention quality videos. Yes, and the best commentary this side of uh, the other side of the street. All right. How about this one? No? Sure. Let's do it. Let's go down I'll give you a few um, views of some of the residential mm -hmm. area close to the downtown core. So that'll be good. For the pedestrians. Yeah, there's beautiful older homes around here, character yeah. homes. Let me show you some of them here. Look at some of those. So pretty. I could live here. 
I could live here in spring and fall, not so much summer and winter, but that's just my personal preference. People love the heat in there. They'd be happy here. I'm not a heat person. Yeah, look at those trees. Oh, red maples, I love those. Yeah, they're doing good. Yeah. This is a pretty street, hey? Kind of reminds me a little bit of Fundy Heights. The big maple trees everywhere and the quaint little homes. Yeah, I can see that. A little busier than Fundy Heights. Yes. Closer to downtown. Yes. Wow. Very, very nice. Nice older Victorian style. Okay, so there's the, uh, I think the college is up. The college and the university again is to the left, so we've done a bit of a circle. Okay, so which way would you like us to go? Let's go right, because you wanted to show, just drive past the shopping center, right? And then we'll call it a video. How's that? Cloud Avenue. So there's a Sobeys ahead. We're coming up to Regent again. We're gonna go left instead of right though. When we came here initially, we turned right to head downtown. We're gonna turn left, head out of town. It's a very, uh, very green city. And fairly, fairly prosperous, I think. Not in the terms of rich people living here, but uh, or high prices, but just a successful little city with the being that the government would be the biggest employer here, the New Brunswick government. Can't probably tell, but we're heading up a hill. To a left turn. Yeah, the trees are looking really good. Mm -hmm. You guys have uh, been troopers hanging out with us for all of the winter and the, the spring thaw and things aren't so pretty but now things are starting to get really pretty with everything blooming so we're going to do a few areas over again. It's a completely different perspective in the summertime. So you might see a lot of dandelions on the um, on the lawns and uh, in a lot of areas in our upcoming, or well, today's video and our upcoming videos, uh, it's uh, no mow may, and it's also um, keep the weeds to feed the bees month. So uh, people are not mowing their lawns and keeping dandelions uh, going, so the bees have a place to help with pollination and everything else until the flowers bloom. So. That's the deal with all the dandelions. So you got some rentals here. For those of you going to the college or to the university, there seems to be a lot of uh, rental buildings throughout the city. So, and the city is, uh, it's kind of like St. John where it's kind of compact. So getting from point A to point B is not necessarily um, a huge feat. You can get from one end of the city to the other. And... Not sure what the transit system is like here. Yeah. Maybe we could look up a link and I'll post it on our Facebook page, which is I love St. John, comma, NB exclamation mark. So you can always join our Facebook group because, because, because um, we get to answer lots of uh, questions there. Lots of people post questions there. And uh, so there's lots of interesting information there. And you can also get to know other members that are moving to the area. Yes, it's a great way to network. 
Um, everybody in New Brunswick that we've come across is super, super friendly. So wherever you end up living, um, you know, it's just a very friendly province and it's a nice place to live and raise a family. Um, but it's always nice to know other people who are kind of in the same boat as you, you know, new to your area and, uh, might have some of the same questions and, um, you know, it's just a great way to network that way. We also have lots of locals that are on that group as well that can answer your questions and, uh, maybe some of the locals will come out to a few of our gatherings and so you can get to meet them too. The reason we're kind of stuck in traffic right now is there's a police car with somebody pulled over or somebody stalled or something up ahead. So. Bad boy, bad boy, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? You're welcome. <laughs> if you love Wendy singing, which I certainly do, then uh, also watch our McAllister Mall video. She sings a few bars in there as well. So. <laughs> It's funny, she won't appear in front of the camera, but she <laughs> will sing away. So, sorry about the delay. We're getting close to the southern edge of the city. If we just, you feel yeah, we like, just want to show the shopping. And then yeah, that's that was pretty much it, but it's, uh, there's a bit of a delay here. And you know we don't edit, so this will all be visible to you. That's right. Now what's going on? Everybody's leaving, but we're still stuck. Okay. Alrighty. We're moving. So this is where you'd get into your more strip malls and the highway access. So you're gonna tell people to subscribe or what? Yeah, subscribe or else. <laughs> or else what? <laughs> no. Oh, lots of rentals over there too. Anyway, if you could subscribe, it would be very helpful to us. With our empty threads. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's a uh, road sign ahead. Oh yeah, here we got some bigger shopping classes. So, it looks like there's a Good Life Fitness, a Best Buy, another Sobeys. Uh, big, big box stores like Staples, um, a few banks, a Timmy's, uh, Marks and Spencer, or sorry, Marks Work Warehouse, uh, a PetSmart. Lots of stuff. So this is uh, where you find highways that would take you further north to Edmonston, another very pretty city, smaller one, or to uh, Moncton, St. John, and Miramichi.